So this is a Kahoot video uh, looking at averages, really sort of aimed at foundation level BU, uh, IGCSE or GCSE. So it's sort of mean, median, mode and range. Uh, I don't suggest you just watch this video unless you've had a go at the Kahoot quiz itself. Uh, first of all, uh, unless perhaps this is last minute revision, in which case that's fine. Uh, the link for the actual video itself is just down below in the narrative. Okay, so there's 12 questions. So first one, the first question, we've got to work out the mode average. Now the mode is the one that occurs most often, mode and most. So you need to find the most frequent number. So that's the gold option here. Now the median, remember the median is the middle one, the middle value, but remember you do have to place them in order first of all, from smallest to biggest. So find the middle value once the numbers are in numerical order. Now to work out the mean average, this is the hardest one of the lot to work out perhaps, so the meanest one. This is the one where you've got to add up all the numbers to start with, and then secondly divide that total by the number of numbers. So add the numbers together, then divide by the number of numbers, so blue on this occasion. Okay, now the range, this isn't an average. The, the mean, median and mode are all measures of average. The mode is, is a, me a measure of dispersion, really, of the, of the variation um, across the data. So how consistent or inconsistent is the data? So to work out the range, you, uh, is the biggest value take away the smallest value. So you subtract the smallest value from the largest value. So for the next four questions, we're just going to work out the mean, median, mode and range for this set of data here. So um, we've been work asked to work out the mode. Well, that's the one. Which number occurs most often? Well, the number 10 occurs on two equation. So the mode is 10 because it's the most frequent number. Now the median, remember the median is the middle one once they've been placed in order. Well, they're already in order, so that value there is the middle one because it's got three to the left and three to the right. So the middle number is 10, so 10 is the median. Now, to work out the mean, this is when you add all the numbers up and divide by the number of numbers. Now, we're told hit down here that the total of these numbers is 70. So we do 70 divided by the fact that there are seven numbers there. 70 divided by seven is 10. So the mean is 10. And then to work out the range, well, as we said earlier on, this is just the biggest value, take away the smallest value. So 16, the biggest value, take away five, the smallest value. So the answer is 11. Now, for the final four questions, we're going to work out the three averages in the range for this uh, from this frequency table. So uh, the table, number of goals scored, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and how often did we score this number of goals? So how do we work out the mode? Well, the mode is what happened most often. Now, on five occasions, something happened. What happened on those five occasions? We scored one goal. So the mode is one. Okay, it's the most frequent, but it's one. Be very careful not to put down the five. Question 10, how do you work out the range? Well, this is the biggest takeaway, the smallest. Well, four goals were the most they scored, zero goals were the least they scored. Four takeaway zero is four. Now, how do you work out the median? Now, this is the middle number of goals scored. Now, they played 15 matches here, 15 matches. 
So the middle match is going to be the eighth match because that's seven before it's seven after it. So which is the eighth match they played? Well, on four um, occasions, they scored zero goals. Well, we haven't got to the eighth match yet. Now, the next five matches, going in number of goals order, they've scored one goal. Now, how many matches have we had in total now? Well, four and five is nine. So our eighth match is one of these five here. So how many goals were scored in that eighth match? It was one goal, okay? So the eighth value, the middle one, so the answer is one. So the green option. Now, how do you work out the mean? To work out the mean, we need to work out the total number of goals scored but divided by the total number of games played. Now, total number of goals scored, we've got to cross multiply. So, four occasions they scored no goals. Naught times four is naught. Five occasions they scored one goal. So, how many goals is that in total? Five. Three times they scored two goals. That's six goals. So, the total number of goals scored is 21. So that's the total number of goals scored, and we've got to divide that by the number of matches played. Now, be ever so careful, you don't just divide by the number of rows, which is five. Okay? The number of matches played is this frequency total. Because there's four matches when they scored none, five matches when they scored one. So the total number of matches played is 15. So 21 goals divided by the 15 occasions, that's 1.4.